Hey, how's it going guys? So as you have requested, I'm creating this video about uh, how do you actually pass a trading uh, evaluation. Okay, so uh, before I start going into the details of it, I just want to introduce to you uh, FTMO first because maybe some of you uh, do not know uh, what I'm talking about, uh, you know, what, what you know, my team is talking about in the Telegram channel. So uh, FTMO is actually a website uh, Okay, it's a company over here, as you can see, uh, where they actually fund uh, good trading, uh, you know, good traders, traders who are uh, profitable, right? So uh, they fund good traders, but of course, uh, it's not so simple in a sense that doesn't mean you apply, you get the funding straight away, right? Uh, you need to prove to them that uh, you are profitable. And so they have a uh, set of criteria, right? You need to show them that uh, you're profitable within a certain period of time and hit certain targets in order uh, for them to trust you uh, with the capital, okay? So for this kind of trading evaluation, uh, it's not so straightforward like normal trading uh, because you have a maximum loss, okay? Uh, meaning that your account cannot go below a certain level and also you have a um, maximum daily losses, okay? And more importantly, you have a profit target uh, that must be achieved within a certain time frame. Okay, so this is not like normal trading where, you know, you can just uh, take it slow in the sense that if the market's not moving, uh, you don't trade, right? Uh, that's the ideal case. But uh, when you are in a challenge like this, um, if you are in a bad month and, you know, the market doesn't move, uh, you still have to make it happen. You have to try to uh, make a profit because if otherwise you will fail this challenge, okay? So as you can see, uh, I myself, I'm doing the FTMO challenge. I'm doing this 100K challenge over here. Okay, so uh, upon uh, completion of this challenge, uh, which is about 90 days, right? If I can show that I hit all these criteria, uh, then I'll be given a 100K account, okay? And uh, they will give you 70% uh, of the profits uh, with the account once you start uh, trading for them. Okay, so that's the criteria. Okay, that's, uh, sorry, that's not criteria, that's the uh, portion of uh, profit sharing. Okay, but um, let's talk about the criteria here. Okay, I'll go through the criteria first, then I'll talk about uh, this Excel spreadsheet, uh, which uh, you've seen in the Telegram channel. Okay, so uh, you can see it's tr uh, three steps. Actually, it's kind of more like two steps. You need to pass these two steps here in order to be entrusted with uh, the capital. So you can see that there's a minimum trading days, okay? That means uh, out of a calendar month, okay, 30 days includes uh, the uh, weekends. So really, it's only 20 trading days, which is why uh, it's very important that uh, you, you have a plan to uh, execute your trades, okay? Uh, you need to be aggressive because uh, you only have 20 days, okay? So minimum trading days is 10 days, okay? This is very easy, okay? Because uh, let's say you already hit the profit target, uh, you can just take a trade of 0 0.01. You just take a very small trade just to hit uh, this criteria. So this is very easy. Uh, I don't see this as a criteria at all. Okay. The other three criteria here are the hardest criteria to hit. Okay. Maximum loss has to deal with your risk management. Okay. So you don't want to be trading uh, too big. You don't want to take too many positions in the day. But at the same time, you need to take uh, enough positions so that you can hit your profit target. Okay, so it's a fine balance uh, between, you know, not taking too much trades as well as taking too little trades, right? You need to have that balance, okay? So uh, I'll teach you how to do that, so not to worry. Okay, you have the maximum loss of 10K for the entire uh, month. Okay, again, uh, this has to do with risk management and a uh, profit target has to do with, uh, again, risk management because, of course, uh, the bigger you trade, uh, the more your profits are going to be. But at the same time, you want to make sure that you comply with uh, this uh, maximum daily loss as well as the... Uh, maximum loss uh, for the account, okay? So now that you understand this, okay, I don't want to talk too much about this. I want to talk about uh, the main crux of today's video, which is uh, this uh, spreadsheet, okay? Just a disclaimer, uh, I'm not the one who created this spreadsheet, okay? I learned this from uh, someone else and uh, I just uh, tweak it a bit to suit uh, my style, uh, suit my, my own uh, risk management plan, okay? So I will leave a link to this uh, spreadsheet in the description section. So uh, if you need it, just, uh, you know, just click it. Uh, you can access the Google Drive and uh, you can just download this, okay? So let's start. Um, the first thing you need to know is uh, you need to input your own uh, historical stats. Uh, this two, okay? Let me just, uh, this two. Okay, I'll put it in red. Okay, uh, you need to know your own win rate. Okay, chances are if you're applying for this challenge, then you are a profitable trader. And if you are a profitable trader, uh, you should know your win rate. Okay, this is just a metric that you should know, right? You should know how often you get it right uh, and what's your average uh, risk to reward. 
Okay, win rate means how often do you make money? Okay, uh, average risk to reward means uh, for every dollar you risk, how much do you get back? Right, so if you risk 10 pips and you get 20 pips, that is a risk to reward of 1 is to 2, right? Because you risk 10 pips but you get 20 pips, right? So 10 pips for uh, 20 divided by 10 is 2. That's how you get uh, the risk to reward. Okay, so average, because you are going to take a, a lot of trades, right, across your trading career, perhaps you take 300 trades, perhaps you hit 5,000 trades, you just need to get the average. Okay, you need to put these two in, numbers in. Okay, now let's talk about our risk per trade and uh, let's talk about uh, this section. Okay, Let, let's go straight into the trading period first. Okay, trading period is very straightforward because you can see over here is that uh, there is 30 days. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, uh, 30 days is uh, calendar days, meaning that it includes weekend. But of course, you can't trade on weekends because uh, the market is not open on weekends. So uh, you, you kind of have uh, four weeks in a month. So four weeks in a month is kind of uh, like 20 uh, trading days, okay? If you are in a trading month with a lot of holidays, that's even worse, okay? But uh, let's just assume that it's 20 days. Let's assume it's a normal month, okay? You have 20 trading days, okay? So here, here's the thing you, you want to uh, pay attention to, okay? Your risk per trade. Okay, ideally, uh, this is really up to you. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, but this one here is very, uh, number of trades here is very uh, crucial. Okay, Let, let's just play around. Okay, so this uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet uh, updates in real time. If you change the numbers, uh, it will change. So let's say you, you intend to just take 30 trades. Okay, uh, if you know that your win rate is a 0.65%, okay, you, you do realize that uh, it's, if you, these are your statistics, right? So you, your win rate is somewhere among around here, correct? Because your win rate is 65%, okay? So your, it's between here and here. You do notice that with your average risk to reward of one is to uh, 1.5, uh, at the end of the month, you barely make it. You see, do you see that you barely make it because your profit target over here is uh, 10K, okay? But, your hit rate, given your hit rate and your average risk to reward, you can only expect to make about 10k or 8.7k. So it's very risky because uh, you know you 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 are very close, barely hitting the target. Okay, and what happens if your hit rate drops? Let's say your hit rate, uh, you know, you take a uh, take some, you leave some margin of error, right? Because your trading results are very risk. Let's say you take this lower tier, uh, you're only going to make six six point you know, 6.2K or 5K. And this means that you fail the challenge of uh, 10K, okay? So this number here is very important number of trades, okay? Of course, you can tweak, uh, you know, you can risk more. But if you risk more, it's going to be more risky because uh, your stop loss, right? Your maximum daily loss is 5K and your maximum loss is 10K. If you are risking uh, 1,000, that means you just need 10 trades to be wrong uh, and then you're out of the challenge. Okay, so this one, this number over here, risk per trade is up to you. Okay, but number of trades, uh, ideally you want to set it more. Okay, so you see 30, 30 trades right now is not a good number. Okay, uh, because uh, you barely hit the, uh, uh, the criteria. So let's see what happens if I do 50 trades. Uh, is, it, is it safer? Okay, so if you do 50 trades and assuming that your win rate and your average uh, risk to reward is the same, then uh, you're looking at somewhere here. Okay, so if you see this case, uh, it's very, it looks very nice because uh, you, you can expect to make 16K profit, 16.25K profit or 15K profit. Okay, this is it's, it's much, it's like, it has a very nice safety margin over the 10K because you only need to hit 10K. But in this case, you are going to hit uh, about 15K or between 15 to 16K, okay? So let's say, you know, your hit rate isn't too good either. Let's say you drop it down, or maybe your hit rate drops to about this, right? You are still quite safe, okay? So this tool is that uh, it helps you to plan how many trades you should be taking, okay? Ideally, you want to take more trades, okay? If you have a profitable system, you want to be taking more trades because um, the more trades you have, uh, you, are, you are diversifying your risk further. So if it's even possible, you know, if you can do it something like this, you decrease your risk, but you, you, you know, increase your number of trades, okay? Of course, uh, it's, going to be, it's, it's going to be easier. But the problem is that uh, it takes more time, it takes more focus, you know, if you, if you 
risk lesser and you take more trades. Okay, this is ideally better. But if you see this way, then um, you need to trade like, you know, you five times, a, you know, you need to do like five times, five trades a day. So it's, it's kind of stressful. You need to spend a lot of time uh, on the screen, right? So I think you want to find a balance between, uh, you know, a uh, balance between uh, the right number of trades as well as, you know, comfortably hitting uh, the uh, criteria. Okay, so for me, I was saying that uh, I'm doing a 100K challenge, so I need to hit uh, about 10K, okay? So my average hit rate historically is about a 0 0.65, and my average uh, risk to reward is about 1.5, okay? These are my own results, okay? So uh, I'll be looking here. I believe that uh, if I execute like this, okay, if, if I come in here, then I will hit target and I will pass the challenge, okay? So, of course, uh, in the stage two, the uh, profit target is uh, lower. It's just 5,000, right? Once I pass the step one and I go on to step two, I will reduce my risk further because I only need to hit, um, I only need to hit uh, 5,000, right? I only need to hit this, this, this amount. So, uh, that's how I plan for it. Okay, uh, it's different from your traditional trading where you know you just trade whatever you want. Okay, and it's also very important uh, that you diversify your risk over time. Okay, so when it comes to trading your own account, um, you can just manage your risk per trade, right? Uh, you know, let me just write that down for you so that you can see normal trading, right? You can just do fixed percent per trade. Okay. Uh, it's not, not, not really of an issue, but uh, when it comes to this kind of challenge, I think what you want to do is you want to have a, uh, you want to consider that uh, sometimes your strategy doesn't uh, work in certain market condition. So if you keep trying to risk fixed percent per trade and, you know, trade, trade, just keep trading, right? Hopefully the market condition uh, moves into your favor. Then you're gonna blow. You're gonna blow past this uh, maximum daily loss or the maximum loss. Okay, so it's it's vital that you control the uh, maximum number of trades you can do a day. Okay, if it's possible, so control the number of trades you can do a week. Okay, so that is why I have over here. Um, why I have over here maximum trades per day. So if uh, I want to trade fifty, I want to take fifty trades, right? Because I believe that uh, fifty trades uh based on this, I should end at about 15K profit or 13.75K profit and I pass the challenge. Then uh, it's, it's just a very simple formula of you take uh, 50 divided by uh, 20, right? So that means I can take a maximum of uh, 2.5 trades a day. Okay, so this is how I diversify my risk. So every day I just go into the market, I close my, not close my eyes, but like I just flawlessly execute my strategy. Every day I just take two trades, two trades, Two and a half trades. Of course, I can't take two and a half trades. So maybe some days I take two trades. Some days I take three trades. Some days I take two trades. Some days I take three trades. Right. So you just go in and execute every single day. Right. Just make sure that uh, your win rate stays the same. Your average risk to reward stays the same. Every day you execute like that for the next twenty days, and uh, hopefully you come out somewhere here. Okay. Uh, the another more advanced strategy is that uh, when you're having a good day, meaning that uh, your trading strategy is working very well for the environment, uh, you can take more trades, right? You can use this more as like a maximum loss, right? Or use as maximum loss. So if let's say, uh, if you use it as maximum loss means every day uh, you can afford to be wrong twice. So if you have two trades that lose money, then you stop trading for the day. That's another way you can uh, implement uh, this, okay? But for me, I like to just see it as, uh, okay, I want to diversify my risk over time, okay? I don't just want to control the lot size, okay? I want to, uh, I want to make sure that uh, my, my trading system has enough time, right? It, it is exposed to different market conditions and uh, over time, uh, it will bring me the returns rather than force you know, the uh, trading system to work in an environment which is not, con you know, it's not profitable for my trading system, right? I think you should know by now that uh, no trading system can perform well in all trading uh, circumstances, right? If you are doing a trend trading system, then of course it's going to do very well during a trending section, okay? And if uh, you're doing, um, you know, you're doing consolidation trading, you're doing range trading, it's going to do badly in a training situation. It's just how trading is, right? You cannot have a strategy that performs well all the time, right? That's why you have a drawdown period, okay? So if you, if you implement this, 
okay? And you plan out your so-called schedule, uh, your risk management strategy, then uh, you, you have a good chance of hitting this, okay? And every day, it gives you a very tangible target, okay? You don't have to uh, rush to uh, hit this target immediately, but you just have a glance and say, okay, uh, my goal every day is just execute two, about two to three trades. I find the two, two or three best trades are executed. If it works, cool. If it doesn't work, I'm fine because historically, looking at my own stats, I know that if I stick on to this plan, I will come out uh, ahead and I will meet uh, the profit target or this challenge, okay? So I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, if you haven't, you know, you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do. Okay. If you need a trading strategy, uh, free, we have a free day trading guide for you in the description section. Make sure you download it. Okay. Uh, please do not try this challenge until you are profitable because uh, this challenge, you do need to pay a fee of 540 euros, which is about um, 610 uh, USD. So uh, no point taking on this challenge uh, if you are not profitable yet. Okay, once you are profitable, uh, then you want to plug in your own numbers. Okay, once you are profitable, chances are you already know what's your average win rate, what's your average uh, risk to reward. Okay, maybe let me just write average win rate. Yeah, so uh, then you just plug it in and then you plan it out. Okay, so I hope this has been useful. If you need anything, just comment in this section below and I'll do my best to address it. Okay, so if not, then I'll see you in the next video.